Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy. I got a really great question from someone on YouTube. T asks, why are the pan numbers in Logic not the same? So why are they 63 and 64 as opposed to maybe something like 100% left and 100% right? So for example, when I go to any pan knob on any channel, if I pull this all the way over to the left, you'll see that the value is negative 64. Pull it all the way over to the right, the value is positive 63. This has to do with the fact that Logic started off as a MIDI workstation way back in the day. So all of Logic's knobs and faders and other controls are typically based on MIDI CC or continuous controller values or control change values. So CC values are always going to be zero to 127. So on any MIDI controller that has knobs and faders, if you have a fader that's all the way up, it's going to be a CC value of 127, all the way down is gonna be zero. With knobs, if you go all the way to the right, it's 127, all the way to the left, it's zero. So that's how MIDI keeps track of the position of the knob. Logic's pan knobs are also based on MIDI values. So if you think about the range of 0 to 127, if you include the 0, that's 128 total discrete values. So with Logic, if you have 64 on the left and 63 values on the right, that's 127 plus an additional value for the center position that gives you 128 total values. That's the reason why Logic's pan knobs are kind of wonky. And uh, to be honest, I wish they would convert over to a 100 left and 100 right system because it just makes more sense. 